United Financial Group is a trust asset management company that invests into the development of new generation innovative drugs. UFG is the most advanced industries and technologies, including safe medicine and IT blockchain development. Our mission is to set up a well-balanced investment portfolio for everyone. United Financial Group, invest with us and create your own future. Well, guys, let's start with the news. There is something happened. Something that I have been telling you for the last one or two months. We were getting ready to uh, produce the first batch of melanin from the raw materials, from our own raw materials, and this week we have generated the first part of melanin. Melanin is the scientific name, but actually this is estromelanin that we received from black yeast. You all remember that back in April we received a uh, black yeast strain which was received by Yelena Urban in 1957 during the Antarctic expedition, during the second Antarctic expedition of the Soviet Union. And this strain was dealt with by Svetlana Lyach for over 20 years and estromelanin was received from the very strain with its wonderful properties. In the materials that we published I in our sources and uh, very good results were obtained to not only treat oncology cancer but also many more uh, diseases. So last week, for the first time, we have produced the first, uh, the first batch of astromelanin from our own feedstock and the fact that we could do that from the first time of that yeast mass that uh, has been grown for three months. And actually, there are a few ways to uh, obtain melanin from that feedstock. We, or our uh, biochemists doing that, they were able to um, select to select while studying Lach uh, works they uh, just overlapped their own experience and uh, they managed to get to get melanin right from the start it is good for us because uh, it saves us time a lot of time because if it were not the case to generate melanin from the first time with certain parameters we had to do it over and over again and uh, every time could last a month or or more so that entire generation process and uh, research and uh, results obtaining. And yesterday there was an uh, MR study to define antioxidation capacity of that melanin that we received and the results are awesome. Let me show you the picture. This is uh, an abstract from uh, a report that I received. It is not very clear to me, uh, frankly speaking, but the report is there and I'm showing it to you. So that graph uh, and every line is a um, 
stand alone melanin specimen or sample and uh, as uh, written here the melanin generated by that methodology by JMA A1 from the black yeast fungi contains twice as more radicals 10 to the degree minus 16. So this melanin data in the diagram were multiplied by 0.1 otherwise the uh, diagram would not be visible on the chart it could have been much lower or higher so this is uh, what uh, we have the anti-oxidation activity of our sample turned out to be much higher than the estromelanin sample that we received in January or February this year from her son. So our melanin quality and the parameters turned out to be much better. And this is a very, very good news for us. It looks like, it looks like the most important thing is that we did it from scratch. We produced our own batch of this preparation and we researched into it the entire process and we were able to do it ourselves. We have not engaged some, you know, institutes or laboratories or third parties. This is our fully own development. And uh, the next step that we are going to do next uh, in the future is uh, a fact check of our melanin versus other melanin in terms of its anti-cancer activities. This is going to be a research work with different types of cancer cells. More detailed information will be provided later when we begin doing that and I will be able to cover it in more detail. But this is a very important piece of work and we we're going to have specific data at hand telling us that this melanin has uh, a much higher activity anti-cancer activity than this or that one twice or three times more some melanin uh, could not be uh, anti-cancer active so this is uh, a big piece of work that we will bring further to prepare for preclinical pre trials and uh, then to to obtain a skulk of a grant for clinical trials so that's the news in brief and uh, at the same time we are going to um, get a patent for that development and to prepare for a bigger melanin batch production that we will be using in our studies. There is a group of volunteers that we are working with and that group will probably increase and we will be moving in this direction. So that's the news. If, if it were not for that quarantine and the institute was closed for a week and that could have been done much faster. But the most important thing here is that we do have the entire production technology and we have specific results that uh, are in line with uh, what was obtained by Svetlana Lyach and what was uh, 
specified in her works. So that's the information for you. So life is good for us. These are major news. Any questions? Please uh, write to the chat and we will be answering your questions. Question. So the active uh, ingredient has been produced, right, Anton? Yes, Anton, right. The melanin itself, that um, that is... Uh, melanin is powder and it has the name. This is a trademark, estromelanin, so actually it is melanin, but it was obtained from certain feedstock because you can generate melanin from grapes, from buckwheat, from whatever. There is a company, Russian Roots, they m marketed melanin called astromelanin from buckwheat. Sort of a counterfeit, but melanin itself is an active ingredient and uh, we need to to uh, choose the packaging. There could be uh, capsules or whatever, anything else for preclinical trials and we would get an optimum dosage and uh, the way of use. As far as volunteers, there was a separate report on, on that topic. I told you about uh, the volunteers in more detail. Now, I don't remember exactly that information, but I can tell you that out of six persons, six persons were there and uh, three had uh, improvements, one or two, it was flat and uh, someone had uh, a worsening um, of the situation. Yes, uh, important is that uh, astromelanin has no side effects. It has no impact, bad impact on a human body because there was uh, a recent statement that uh, cancer drugs in use now they have uh, a lot of uh, side effects and that list um, has two or three pages and uh, all those uh, all those compositions they act like poison, so they poison cancer cells and the task is to to uh, select a proper dosage for cancer cells uh, to die, uh, but for a human being not to die. In our case, a person who is uh, treated by estromelanin, he is uh, treated for oncology, but other uh, diseases could also be treated and cured. According to uh, the research that we received, Svetlana Lyach and uh, uh, there was some other clinic, clinical feedback, uh, including diabetes mellitus, uh, as far as I remember. What is the price? Well. I don't know, because now this is a pilot production batch and uh, they're expensive. When full production starts, it's going to be more clear, but I don't think that the price, if we compare with Fren, I would say the monthly course of astromelanie would be cheaper. Question. What are the production stages for for that preparation? 
an answer. As I said, we need to study that uh, that uh, composition against cancer, how they how they act on cancer cells. So there's going to be a selection of a few melanins, and when we get the anti-cancer activities, we could uh, work a technology on how to produce it in bigger batches and most likely um, alongside with clinical trials we would be able to produce estromelanin and it could be used as a food supplement not to wait for clinical trials and to start selling it so that's the plan question could we use it for prevention and for just general improvement of health answer yes I, I think so because no one knows what is happening in your body so uh, because we our environment is not that good question why one volunteer felt worse as a result answer I don't know maybe the dosage was wrong or something hard to say for me given the fact that uh, our volunteers admit um, the preparation by themselves it is not clear what happened he probably uh, was admitting it in a wrong way not in line with the guidelines or forgot to, to take it or whatever else you know there could be many options here and every person assumes responsibility so they have uh, a guideline and someone someone could follow instructions someone could not it's the same like uh, we all know the uh, we all know this the traffic rules but not all of us follow them question how much does it take to extract the composition the substance answer I'm not uh, ready to answer that question now because we have not discussed it yet. I can just say that uh, we have uh, Moscow State University uh, professionals in our company uh, is saving a lot of money on that because if similar works were uh, made by commercial companies or that would have costed us a lot more question how quick is it to grow melanin answer I don't know it depends on the volume it depends on the volume uh, to grow how much uh, how much uh, raw materials is there answer it's like uh, bread it's like bread yeast yeah if if we have a smaller piece it grows slower than the bigger one Ludmila asks there is individual um, individual contradictions to that preparation so somebody else somebody could uh, just uh, reject that uh, preparation that that could happen too what are interesting news about yellow <laughs> frankly i have not prepared myself for yellow news the only thing that uh, I can tell you is that there's gonna be a big change soon it was uh, planned for July or August but there have been testing for two or three weeks they're debugging the system and uh, today is the 21st of October maybe it's gonna take another two three weeks and the update will be there so that's what I know and as long as they launch the update the plan is to hold a major conference 
attended by me by high profile people and i am also invited so i would give you all the information from 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 there question for how long will our cryptocurrency trader be with us and what about the new video answer uh, he would stay with us as long as we want him and the plan is to move keep on working answer sorry question how to withdraw money from your account please ask our chat operators they would tell you how to do that well hulo i already provided information next question is the range of products in our internet shop a few days ago we uh, finalized how shall i say that we have uh, finished off the development of a few preparations six or seven and uh, we need to decide now how they are going to be packaged and once we decide that well we'll begin producing packaging and we'll add them on our eShop. As for the time, I think closer to Christmas time we'll do that not earlier as uh, lots of things ha are happening and documentation and so on and it's going to take a couple of months, maybe three months. So the uh, the uh, uh, range of goods will be increased. Question: Is it going to be a closed? Uh, There's going to be a closed uh, event. What about the balsam? Have you boosted sales? Answer: Not yet. Our marketing people are now investigating into the market, and they're now finalizing the research. The idea is to do the market research of the market of the of the uh, situation, and following that, they launch a, a marketing campaign or adver advertisement about the sales, and that's the process how it looks like. So we're now uh, going to test. We're testing, and we're going to begin working. Nikolai, I hear that this topic has, is booming and uh, the only thing is that uh, cannabis is uh, narcotics and, uh, and I don't think that its production or fabrication is, is a good thing. If you have another information, you can, you know, you can use our support service they would uh, forward it to me and we could discuss this topic if you have any potential potential proposals the marketing research is being finished now Is there any connection with Yellow and Ripple? Answer. As far as I know, Yellow is based on the Ripple blockchain platform. And uh, the Ripple was the basic basis. And they have Ripple in their wallet. A question about Soroka Doom. I forgot about, I forgot about him. As you remember, we have funded the initial stage of the Air Vortex research last November. I met with him two years, uh, sorry, two weeks ago. And he transferred to me this research, research information. We talked to each other and the situation is as follows based on the data received 
of that air vortex to uh, to conduct the full cycle of research operations on air vortex there was a draft budget which is which is about 30 million rubles this research would allow us to get an answer is there any chance to set up an air whirlpool or a vortex to use it as a source of energy the chances that uh, of the positive research is uh, 20 to 30 percent and it looks like that Mr. Sirokodum is ready to do that he is uh, motivated and he wants to do that but his condition is that this 30 million rubles has to be paid in two stages within two or three months at the moment our company has no has no um, capacity to finance this development in this case we'll have to stop all astromelanin operations and other line of activities and all all this money would be used for that vortex research which is uh, unclear yet so based on all those um, news and data there was a decision taken there could be a separate platform for Mr. Sirocco Doom to be separate from our project and all those who want to finance Sirocco Doom and his development would have a chance to do so but this is a question about uh, because the, the topic is being discussed now it is a question mark whether he would be engaged in that or not so it's uh, unclear yet because we have not found any common ground so that's the point that's the point if anyone may think that the decision taken is wrong you can comment on that and I am ready to listen to you you know if we had enough funds if that amount would not be critical for us to um, impact other developments that we do we could discuss that point but at the moment if we uh, switch that um, money on to Sirocco Doom I don't find is it's is good because for astromelanin we have a big backlog backlog and we have results we it's going by itself but his development is uh, in its infancy so next question will there be footage or photographs from yellow from the yellow conference answer why not uh, there could be a broadcast or something well if there are no more questions my congratulations to uh, all of us again all the best to you we are moving on and until next time